Hello YouTube, this is True Sugar coming at you again and I want to say hi and thanks for subscribing to all the new people that are watching me. Today I am going to come to you with a video on the makeup items that I plan on using for my Project 30 pan. Um, it hasn't been going as well as me using up the hair products or my skincare because I'm finding that I just have so much that I've never tried before that I'm having a hard time just pinpointing what I want to use. And today, what I was going to do, I was going to show you, um, I put on the makeup that I was going to use today, but it's like you can't really, I don't think you guys can really see it. Not really. I'm trying to scoot over. I tried to go to a room with better light, but I don't really, well, I think you can see it a little bit on this side of my face. This side. So... Um, I just want to give you an idea of um, what I'm going to be using and what I'm, I plan to focus on for this. And also some fragrances that I plan on focusing on too because one, I don't really use that much and one is, is my signature but I have like three bottles of it that I need to use up. Yes. So as far as the fragrance, I have the um, Dior Attic Shine. This is a bottle that I don't really use as much but I want to finish up. Um, it's very, It's a very clean kind of citrusy scent. I like it. It reminds me a lot of the um, Dolce & Gabbana's light blue. Is it Dolce & Gabbana? Yeah, Dolce & Gabbana light blue. And then this is the um, Fancy Love by Jessica, Sims Jessica Simpson. I love this fragrance. Um, it's my favorite. It's very warm. It's a soft musk that's kind of sweet. Just look, not super sweet like a Juicy Couture or a um, at Hardy's. The um the hearts and daggers not that type of sweet but it's it's nice if you want something to start off with so those are the two fragrances I'll be working on this bottle is pretty much full and of course this is at half so as far as makeup so I narrowed it down to I only have one bronzer right now and that's the CoverGirl bronzer that I haven't really been using but I used it today but I don't know if you can really tell I use it in a, the shape of a three on my face I was gonna do one side with the makeup on and one side without it on so you can see but then I was looking kind of dead on the other side so I'm like that may not be a good look but now I'm realizing you kind of can't see it anyway but that's okay I also am taking out this cream um, this NYX cream blush in orange I love it it's so soft and there's an orange peachy thing going in here. Um, I feel that the oranges and the peaches are, are a soft feminine look for me instead of trying to do a pink or even a red, really. I really like it. Today on my lips, I'm going to take it in for you. I'm wearing this color juice in um, peaches and cream, and I really like it. And I've decided to add it to my um, Project 30 pan. And as you can see, it is pretty full. So this will be a color that I will be wearing during the summer. All the way into the fall. I think that I'm pretty I think that the, these colors can last me all the way throughout. They just they're just a soft look for me no matter what I do. Also, I have the NYX blush in cinnamon. Now, I really like cinnamon. You can't really see it on my face right now. But it gives such a soft, pretty look. I mean, when you look at it, you're like, wow, that's kind of bright. But when it's on your skin, it just adds a little hint of color. It's just, it looks really natural, and I like it. So, as you can see, this hasn't really had any, um, no, not a lot of, hasn't been touched a lot, but I am adding it because it's something that I'm working on this until October. So, it's gonna, I'm going to work on these. And also, I have Love. This is Love by NYX. It's a mosaic powder. You can find this product at Ulta. Um, today on my eyelids, I have part of the um, the colors of this one. Real soft. I like it. And I've been wearing this one a lot. So, but I wanted to go ahead and add this in. I do have a highlight on. I don't know if you can really tell. I did it here, here. Ridge of my nose, on my nose, and moving in forehead and on my cheeks. And this is the Smashbox Soft Lights in Dusk. And I really liked it. It gave me, you know, it just, it just looks really soft and lit in the middle. In the center of my face. And I like that. 
So that's that. So this is been the, will be the highlighter that I am working on. There is like a really tiny dent right there, but I think it's probably because it's been hit, not because I've actually used it. The mas only mascara I have right now is the DNA Lash, um, the Smashbox Lash DNA. I really like it. I have it on my eyes now. Yeah, see those? Hmm. Hmm. There you go. Also, I'm also using the Tinted Moisturizer from CoverGirl the, um, Smoothers. This will be the foundation um, that I'm going to be using. I'm, I don't plan on wearing a foundation this summer. It's just too hot. So this is will be the product that I'm using. I have more somewhere. I just don't know. I'm going to have to find it. And then I also have, as far as a um, blush, there is this um, Palladio Bait Blush in Chocolate. Chocolate. I think, and this is where it is. Can you see this, you guys? Yeah. And I'm trying to use it up. Normally, I'll just pop, dust it on the back, and what's on the... Can you see? Mm. And normally, what's on this part of the pan is what I... On this part of the pan is what I put on my face. So, that's it for that one. And then, this is the... um. Sorry, just... This is what I had, the bag that I had lost of what I wanted to really be working on. And now that I have a bag, I was like, I would have never missed the stuff that I had. Actually, I was starting to want to buy some of the colors in here that I didn't have. But now that I have them, I realize I can use them. So I am still working on the Estee Color Lilacism. I just have to find it. And it's the color that I'm going to be doing my nails and toes today. And then I'll be working on more of the little bottles like this. And then these, these glosses and lipsticks, these are the things. Oh, I'm going to depot this one. This is one from, um, this is Pink Spice. And it's from, I think, is it Clinique? Yeah, this is from Clinique. I need to depot this because it's looking kind of raggedy. I need to depot that. And I want to use that up. And then all of these gloss, lip glosses. Two are from N two are from NYC. Two are from um I think CoverGirl. Then I also have this um Elf lip lock pencil that I like a lot for keeping in lipsticks. And then this mini gloss from Alta that I'm gonna be working on too. And these four nail polishes plus the what I like ism that I'm still working on. So that's it, everyone. That's what I'm working on. That's what I've decided that I'm going to have to make a focus on. Because if I don't, I'll just continue trying to pick out different products that are, from, that are in my um, my collection. And I'll never get anywhere. i never get anywhere. I keep trying different things that I'm really liking. But my goal, a part of the goal for the Project Pan was to hit pan on to hit pan on 10 products but to completely finish up five and i don't want those five to be like lip glosses and things like that i really want to finish up a product also in this is the covergirl cheekers in gold and pink i like it um someone else said it um another i saw another video on um, youtube saying that it could be a um a dupe for raisin the mac blush don't know don't have it I really haven't had a need to feel a felt a need to get Mac. So I'm fine with what I have right here. Um, any questions, comments, concerns, hit me up. Let me know what you guys are thinking and let me know how you're doing on your project. Um, 30 pants, and I'll give you guys an update at the end at the beginning of July on where I am with all my products. Thanks. Have a good one.